Libra, how are you doing? This is Shannon with Apex Tarot, a pure spirit, and I'm here to do your weekly um, from October the 14th through the 20th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or however these energies hit you. If they do not resonate, then go ahead and check out one of the other videos that will eventually be downloaded uh, underneath the description box below. So with that said, let's go ahead and get in here and see what's happening in advance for your weekly. All right, Libra, as always, uh, I just want to thank you all for your likes and your shares and your subscribes. If you all do that, I appreciate it. Um, give me a thumbs up if it resonates or a thumbs down. doesn't matter either way to me. Um, but I do hope that you're able to take something from these readings and to apply them for the betterment of your own life. And uh, hopefully you're getting something from the divine. That's what these readings are for. If anybody would like a um, personal reading, please email me at apextarot underscore apurespirit at yahoo.com with your question, and we can chat there. All the information is below on how to contact me and what to do. With that said, Libra, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, Sweet Divine, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is happening with them for the week of October 14th through the 20th? What do they need to know and understand? What is the highest wisdom for them to walk in, for them to uh, know about, for them to bypass for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Always remember that uh, I could be speaking to your cross watcher, but nonetheless, this is for Libra and your situation. Alright. Okay, we've got the Empress. There you are, Libra. Coming up and uh, the mother, right? Somebody's pregnant. Somebody's expanding. Somebody's got lots of projects. Somebody's very, very artistic. That's you. That's them. That's, you know, whatever this is. This represents somebody that is truthful or should be. Uh, this is a public figure or somebody's known or something like that. Somebody's beautiful inside and out. They're business minded. They're grounded. They're stable. They're balanced. Beautiful. Love the Empress. Then we've got the King of Wands coming out here, Libra. And uh, looking right on over at the Empress there. Now we know that the Emperor has all four kings and the Empress has all four queens. So this could be either somebody, you know, it's either the other side of the Emperor or it, and it is showing up as fire, which is Aries energy. Um, and we've got you and Taurus energy in that, uh, but could be anybody, obviously, so we all got this in our chart, but nonetheless, fire is showing up as looking right on over at this Empress energy, somebody also in a high-ranking position, authority, leadership, and somebody who's optimistic and hopefully honest and wanting want the blaze for you to look right on over, like, ooh, baby, you're cute, <laughs> whatever. Uh, we've got the Queen of Cups coming out here, and so... She looks a little sad. So if this is another person or just, other, you know, like I always say, when the emperor and the empress come out, that something public is going on here. And uh, we've got, you know, the queen of cups coming out here. Somebody who's very, very dreamy and compassionate. And these are court cards, the king and the queen here is, um, you know, she's somebody who's romantic, friendly, artistic. She could be anything from a mother to a wife to a grandparent to... Um, a boss or somebody who is just very intuitive or somebody who's a sulky little child who just is manipulative, you know, or the king of wands can also be showing up somebody burn the crap out of you because he's dishonest. Uh, energy flow either way. And then we do have the sun coming up here. So this is, you know, should be happy, happy, happy energy, beautiful. Then the sun comes out, it's success, it's romantic, it's uh, a good future, it's prosperity, it's joy, right? And it's also children. And we've got the mother of the universe showing up here. And like I said, the Queen of Cups can represent a mother herself. And uh, so how interesting. So we've got something front stage with this energy here. Uh, children, like I said, or it also could be pride happening here as well. Let's go ahead and get in here, Libra, and see what is going on with your spread here. So somebody's sitting there sulking about something in the connection here. Um, 
not wanting to look at this cup or they are seeing this cup straight from heaven or like I said they're sitting here they're bored they're disgusted with something there's three cups maybe other suitors uh, whatever's happening maybe this queen of cups is sad because this king over here is part of an emperor energy looking at the empress that we could go so many different ways let's get in here and see what's happening here so we got somebody, this is your energy, Libra, uh, or you could be dealing with other air signs. Nonetheless, everybody has a mind, everybody speaks. But somebody's been up in their head in their bed and um, really disappointed, despaired, imprisoned in their own mind. They're, they're traumatized, uh, feeling shameful. Uh, there's been lying and cheating and stuff like that going on in a situation. Somebody's obviously they're feeling guilty or just feeling like, I don't know what to do. Uh, they're really, they're just, uh, that's hard energy. That's really, really hard energy. What I love about the Empress energy, she comes to aid her and the Emperor uh, energies and the, you know, the Empire. Uh, they send people out to aid and to be nurturers and, and stuff like that. The sun is here, so everything's going to be okay. Just got to relax, got to get out of the mind. What is crossing this? So if you're worried about your work, your job, people that you work with, your co-workers, your bosses, high authorities, whatever this is, mastery, self-development, that what's helpful is really to, you know, begin to work on the self, getting out of the mind, getting very grounded. This is pentacles. If you're in pain because of... Um, you know, medical issues, I always see that with the swords, you know, if you've had surgery or something like that, uh, it, just, it, it, it just takes time, and um, what's helpful is time, that is what pentacles represent, this is an eight, so that's personal power, um, if this has to do with work, um, well, what's the challenge and what's helpful is that you do your work in all honesty, if there's been backbiting or deception or something like that, then this is suggesting for you to put your head down in a very honorable way and to work on mastering the self and um, getting whatever this, these thoughts are, you know, maybe you're dealing with migraines or whatever, maybe the job that you have is high official type stuff and it's just um, really just hard making decisions and, and whatever this is. We'll clarify that and see what's happening here. Let's see what happens in the deep path. Well, it has to do with work. What do I have all these? It has to do with work, money, large sums of money. Maybe you had lost your job but the, um, or somebody in the connection did. And what's helpful is to find another job or work on something that you love or but money or health or whatever this is, policies, um, contracts, you know, feeling settled at one time in the deep past uh, is showing up. This is a very fantastic card to get. So, but uh, apparent, and we got beautiful cards up here. So I'm not understanding what what you're in your mind about, unless there's been cheating or lying or stealing that's happened between. You know, the Empress represents the universe, but she does represent somebody who holds all four queens and. Um, then we've got two court cards set in here and we've got children. We do have three cups showing up here. So if a third party got in the way, maybe at work or had something to do connected to your work and and um, that's why you're in your head, you don't know what to do. The sun's here to expose something. Maybe that's what the problem is, something got exposed. What just happened? Well, there's another court card, some kind of offer, some kind of responsibility. Uh, maybe a new responsibility has come to you and that's what made you get in your head about something. Something you've been waiting on for a long time or something's been stagnated. Um, you know, something uh, has to do with being serviceable. Um, maybe somebody of interest. And, you know, we do have the Queen of Cups. If I'm looking at the picture, the Empress and the King of Wands is looking at one another. And he's not paying attention to this Queen of Cups behind him. And so if there is a three-party situation going on, like I said, we do see three cups here. But we do have a fourth cup right out of heaven, but somebody's pouting about it. This person here looks pouty. Uh, the, queen, the queen of cups always looks pouty to me. But um, something just happened and uh, that arrived or has just been taken a long time or stopped or something here. That makes the nine of pentacles... And you do have a nine of swords here. 
The Nine of Pentacles is about being single. It's also about, you know, using your discernment. If somebody's really been in their mind trying to analyze something here, what's at the top of this mind is ending some kind of battle. So obviously we know that there's been some backstab. That's 19 swords right there. The sun is the 19th card of the deck. We've got 19 pentacles here. We do have fire here, so maybe you have a really heavy Leo in your chart, or you're dealing with a Leo, or that energy is just front stage, everything's right out in the open, and somebody wants to end something. Uh, that has been really, really hard, core, just thoughts, and backstabbing, whatever this is. But there's some kind of breakthrough here, because this will break down to the truth. And if the truth is what's bothering you... Because actually 19 also make a 10, which is the truth. Somebody knows the truth about something. Maybe it's something on your job where money is concerned. Balancing out scales here. Projects that had been done and, and uh, maybe they weren't done honestly. What's in the very near future is something coming to the surface. An awakening to something. Karmic activity. For some of you, health improvements, if you've been fighting health and stuff, the sun is vitality. And this card also represents your vitality, having a burst of energy, which is, that's beautiful. Um, this is some type of decision is going to be made from the heavens right out of heaven. I think I just did you guys' this next 72-hour reading, or the air reading, uh, from, what was the date on that? Um, from yesterday's day, no, from um, to the 18th, I don't remember what the dates were starting on that. But anyway, this card came out where somebody was just sitting there as a stalemate and they couldn't make a decision. This came out. And somebody's just sitting here trying to figure out what the truth is or you know the truth and you try, whatever. Somebody in the connection knows something, obviously, and it's keeping somebody up and it has to do with work. Or what's helpful is to be honorable in your work. And uh, something's fixing to come up to, from the surface. Down, if something's been, un, you know, we're talking Libra energy. That is, um, if you're a private investigator, or if you've been privately investigated, or if the law's been involved, we do have that very much here showing up. And something could be coming right up out of the grave itself that has been hidden and now going to be known. It's the heavens doing it. It's very karmic activity. What is the uh, concern? The concern is the publicity of it. The concern is maybe the promotion. If you've been in some kind of competition for a promotion or something like that, well, then your concern is to be promoted in something. We do have work here and money showing up. Um, victory is a concern. Um what gates being open where they couldn't pass where you couldn't pass through rewards for hard work I, I don't you know wanting those rewards for hard work that's beautiful concern to have uh, but it must be done in all honesty because this is the heavens coming in and making something known so if you've done it in all honesty and we know that there's been lies and cheating and stealing going on somewhere in your connection with you, you did it they did it or a group of people did it or it was done to you whatever the case is the higher the your first card is a higher arcana your first card is karmic activity with the empress herself that holds your scales of a libra you know and then the sun right now is still in libra so it's like something and this can also be private investigative stuff so if you've got law-like issues happening where large sums of money and something was stolen from you or you did that then the, the heavens are getting involved and making something known as above so below this is a concern because this is a public card there's been some kind of battle here we know that because the nine of swords is there how will people see this man i've seen this card last couple days is someone just holding back or trying to hold on to everything that they have. Or not wanting to open up to something. Being stingy. You know, self-protecting, you know, the matter. that You know, financial matters going, obviously. If you're having problems, you know, with work and uh, maybe with relationship issues for some of you. And money has been an issue. It has just been slow building your bank account or something like that. Or, or something did get, you know, somebody lied about something. Uh, somebody seeing somebody just holding on or being stingy or whatever, saving their money, uh, taking a calculated risk maybe, trying to get stabilized here after something happened. 
that, that already is front stage, that already is, uh, you know, bringing some kind of clarity because the sun is in your sign right now. And that is about balancing out the scales. If somebody was biased in a situation, well, the heavens need to come up and bring something out to the light. What's the hopes? The hopes is love. The hopes is having the heart chakra open and maybe compassion. If something happened to you or you did it or something like that or you lost a job and it put somebody behind financially or, you know, medically or whatever, then the hope is that you get a fresh new start and the heavens give you this cup and it'll overflow and there'll be mercy or compassion or you know, maybe there's a new baby and you're trying to figure out for some of you who are, you know, and trying to because this can represent pregnancy and so can the Queen of Cups. And um we got family here and uh, the pentacle itself that uh, the knight is holding can also represent pregnancy as well whatever this is it projects but most of all your hopes is to feel love and compassion it's coming right out of heaven too so that's a that's a really nice hope what's the outcome beautiful and this breaks down to that one cup as well and uh, this is also a public card so if you're concerned about public stuff, well, you're getting it in the outcome anyway. <laughs> but this is happy, and this is family, and this is uh, dreams coming true. This is joy. This is committed uh, relationships. This beautiful energy. This is emotional fulfillment in your home life, which is beautiful. I want to take a look at, um, obviously, there was other party situations, low-level energies, and something that's gotten you here. What is this nine and ten of swords about, please? For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from October 14th through the 20th, 2019, please, Spirit. You got two fours here, and somebody may be moving house, and like I said, you do, some of you have, you know, in this row right here, that's 19 or nine pentacles here which makes sing being single um, but we do have love here if you're reconciling or if you are finding new love or something like that your hope is love what is this nine of swords here it's obviously been something there's another nine well nine is also 18 which is the moon and even though we don't see the moon we see the sun here it's nine is still makes the number 18 if we see scorpio we have to look at for hidden stuff i always say that and so obviously there's been some kind of warring and fighting and having to push through very passionately uh in some kind of some whatever this is uh, deception of some kind some kind of somebody got in the way. What is this Four of Cups here? For some of you, I know it's not for everybody, but some of you, somebody got pregnant in a situation. And it was very, very hurtful. For some of you, maybe there was a death issue and, you know, inheritance and uh, legalities concerning that where death was concerned. Somebody see something where it was being held back information about it possibly as well what's this four of cups this is a disguise or this is policy and work and knowledge and inner guidance and somebody contemplating something because the four cups can't also represent contemplation so somebody was contemplating something or they were in disguise because a hermit can represent disguise um, analyzing something that was being contemplated maybe from the past whatever the situation was here I like the outcome and that the, the fact that the, the Sun is here we do have secrets at the bottom which is the other which the hermit can actually be found within this card as well there's been secrets about some stuff, but the sun's... Look, you got too many, too much, too many cards that show something's public. This is public, this is public, this is public, this is public. This is coming right out of the grave. So something is inevitable to happen here that has been secret. And uh, you're just going to have to face it. I mean, if the heavens are doing it, 
what can you do about it? You can't stop the heavens. You and I can't stop the heavens. I don't care who got involved in what and what happened. What happened is done is done, and the heavens are bringing something to pass. And you and I can never stop that. It's out of our hands. It's not one person trying to make something happen. The more you try to suppress something, the more the heavens will shove something. Because the heavens don't like a liar or a cheater or a thief or anything like that. And this is the way that we learn karmic lessons. So that people don't do it again. Because you've got grown-ass people acting like little children. And uh, this also can represent children. 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 Children, children are found in here. We got children, children in, in all these pictures. So there's kids involved in situations, and the the you know the mother father figure of the universe, they they want the world to be in a place that's secure, not in all this turmoil and this mess right here. Whatever has happened in secret is coming to the light. It's too much, but there's a happy outcome, so that's beautiful. So whatever was done in secret, there is a and there's healing here. The hermit has the star in the lantern, which is guidance. Something is inevitable. There's fate and destiny within that star, and there's knowledge there, and there's going to be guidance, and there's going to be success in the end. So. If you've made a thing right, or if you go make a thing right, it'll turn out right for you. But if you don't, it's going to be right out of your face. But this is a beautiful card. This is a beautiful card. So whatever has been, yeah, there's that stalemate card that was there on the air sign readings. Somebody was just being quiet, not talking about something, going within with the hermit, sitting there under that tree, holding back. But um, in the very near future, something's definitely coming to the light. And there's nothing that nobody can do about it. It's the heavens doing it, Libra, or whoever's in this connection. And it's a positive thing. This is a positive card. There's too many positive cards. Your hope for the Ace of Cups is beautiful, or whoever's hoping for that in your connection is beautiful because it's, it's happening. Because that's exactly what this is. It'll break down to the one, so you're getting your wish. And this is a yes card. And then we find, um, well, I thought it was the death card. But we uh, find in the, well, yeah, it was, never mind. I thought I seen the death card because that also shows the sun in it. But nonetheless, the sun is here. The scales are going to be balanced and something's coming to the surface and it's a happy outcome. So that's beautiful. Uh, I hope this helps you. Go ahead and check out one of your other placement videos. Eventually they will be downloaded below Libra. Let me know how it goes. Shalom.